Take a picture a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Are we insulting you now, Lena? Asks if you even play basketball. <laughs> it really is. Well, it's you guys are so. Thank you. Put this down for a minute. Put that down for a minute. Take a picture with both of them. Can you? While you're here. While you're here. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. We appreciate it. Exactly. I played in the eighties. Okay. All right. Tell about that. Yeah. You're verifying 2011 and 2009. I was born in 80, so when I started becoming an NBA fan, I was kind of telling okay. so I grew up in Chicago, though, so you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. I only. <laughs> Hall of Famer! Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You just. And now you get to talk to him. Oh really? Is that right? I didn't know. That. First ballot. Yeah, there's not an NBA MVP who did not get into the Hall of Fame. You won't. Probably a good idea to grab it now if you can. of the year, and this year we have two clinics, tonight and tomorrow night, so it's a special week for us as we have a chance to thank Uline and all of you for being great Bucks partners. Thank you so much to you. A friend of mine, we worked together on the Bucks broadcast for a few years, he is a five-time NBA All-Star, two-time Defensive Player of the Year. He went into the Naismith Hall of Fame in 2019, played 10 seasons with the Milwaukee Bucks, one with Atlanta, and he is in more Halls of Fame than the Nation Hall of Fame. He is in the Wisconsin Athletic Hall of Fame and also the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. You know him very well. His number hangs above us. Number four, the great Sydney Moncrief is our special guest. We will be working with your children tonight. Thank, Thank you, Sydney. Great to have you with us. Great to be here. How's it going today? the championship. You and I were visiting the first time we'd seen each other uh, since the championship. We talked about it. Uh, what were your thoughts watching that? And uh, been a long time coming. It was 50 years between championships in Milwaukee. I'll tell you what, it was a long time coming. We came so close, except we had the late versus the Celtics to contend with. But uh, the thing I want to emphasize, especially to the younger, the younger generation, the thing that came to mind was grit. When I watched the Bucks win that championship, because the year before, with the bubble, we had all these things going on. And they were able to come back and overcome that situation and win an NBA championship, which was, was fun to watch. Play hard, play the game with passion. And that's the nugget I give you because when I was your age, there were a, a number of players better than me, a lot better players than me. But I would always play the game at a higher level than them as far as intensity. And that carried over in everything I do in life. So the lesson that I would give you is make sure that your work ethic. Like Giannis, that was a great place. Make sure you work at the game, work on your education, work in your community at a very high level. If you love it, work hard at it, and always have the mascot in the NBA, the championship mascot, the reigning championship mascot. Bango is here. Bango is going to help Sydney Mindbreak lead our campers through some stretching exercises as we get ready for our clinic. Everybody ready? Yeah. 
Woo! All right, let's line up with your group leaders. Hey, Jim, Jim. They didn't sound like they were ready. They need to stay right where they are. They can stay where they are? Okay. No, that's you, stay, yeah, that's good. There's enough room. Just make sure you have a little space. One of you said, are you guys ready? They didn't say they were ready. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you didn't hear it loud enough. Are you ready? No, I'm not loud enough. No. no. <laughs> are you ready? Is that good enough? One more time. Make it better than that. Are you really ready? There we go. Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> Stand back top, stretch, reach, reach back again, on your toes, on your toes. All right, and now go to your right. Get over to your right. Stretch this side a little bit. Don't bounce, high stretch. Now up in there, go to your left. Very good. Excellent. Now we're going to swing it around a little bit, nice and easy, not too aggressive. Perfect, perfect. Now we're going to take our little neck, like my big head, and roll my big head around in circles. To the right, five times, five times. To the right, good. Five times to the left. Now we're going to end out as far as we can. Don't look at me, get down further than I can go. I'll make your toes and just hold it, hold that stretch. Let it go, <laughs> down. All right, he's able to do it. Thank you, don't you all. Get over and touch your toes. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Pretty good. You can still do that. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. I'll be sore tonight. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be taking off care throughout our clinic tonight. We're going to have some trivia. We'll talk to Sydney a few times. He'll give us some pointers on how to work with our young people as they learn the great game of basketball. Everybody in their spots with plenty of room. Sydney, my group. Victoria, do we want to do our first item? Okay, we have about 30 seconds remaining in our first session. Simply in the right hand and left hand. I step a lot with my right as my right hand. Or not the left. So it's typically right handed step right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. It depends on the type of pass. If I'm throwing like a this type of pass, I'm going to step with my left. Right. Depends on the pass, depends on the situation. Yeah. But when you're learning it initially, yeah. just learn how to step. Apparently. The athletic position is the most important thing you can teach your son or daughter. So everything they do in basketball is based on being in this position. It's going to either start here or finish here. Your passes always start high and you finish what? Low, athletic. When you're rebounding, you start low and you finish what? High. When you're shooting, you start low and you finish high. So athletic position, defense, you're where? Here, low. That's not taught a lot, but they must learn the correct access position. Outstanding. Thank you, Mr. Moncrief. Three, two. I like to be called Coach Moncrief. Coach. Coach, Coach Moncrief. Coach Moncrief. That works too. Yeah. That's right. Okay. 
Thank you, Coach Moncrief. Three, two, one. Thank, Thank you, you, Coach Moncrief. Moncrief. Thank, Thank you, Coach Moncrief. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you very much for bringing the kids today. All right, we still have uh, we have the greatest, the greatest basketball hunting team in the world. Please welcome the Milwaukee Bucks Rim Rockers. Woo! Thank you, Sean. Let's go. These guys are going to put on the show here. Sitting out here. Let's go to the ball tonight. We're going to go take a picture and enjoy the show. We'll be back for most of it. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Jim. Appreciate you. You are how you feel.